So, uh, challenged by Joe Ku. Uh, I would like to, to share a point about not wanting to vlog, not wanting to to show myself, sort of, not wanting to disclose myself, not wanting to expose myself and show myself, just wanting to hide and sort of be in the corner, not in the center. Uh, the feeling that I should be sort of spared or, or left to myself because I have blah, 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 because of this or that. And literally just cling on to some anxiety or some fear or some imagined fantasy and emo em emotional construct of mind you just cling on to that and think that okay nobody I would be all normal here left in my little anxiety corner nobody would notice me I will be excused like ah oh, just anxiety which everybody has so fuck it no, that's not bother I just want to feel like not showing myself not, not exposing myself not talking publicly now because I don't feel like it, because I feel like Ugh, something else, I need to occupy my mind with something. And instead of letting that occupation be a flower or something nice, I choose the ordinary stuff, the common stuff that we know is common, that we know deep inside is ordinary because we accept and allow it, which is the ordinary anxiety, the ordinary Depression, let's just light depression, sipping on a coffee, oh, listening to some whatever reggae and glide with mind through the day, not being in control of yourself, just accepting the conscious whateverness. So here's me trying to say that hey, let's snap out of consciousness and into physicality, breath and self-awareness. But So many days I feel like I must repeat myself over and over and over and over and over again to get the message out. The message of love. The message of equality and oneness. The message of Jesus. The message of Allah Tzu. The message of Osho, the message of Bruce Lee, the message of, of, of Alice Bailey, the message of Jesus, of whomever. You make your pick. In the physical, we are all born equals. So sometimes I feel like, okay, I'm repeating myself. There's nothing more I can inspire myself or be more creative or more impulsive or more whatever, I'm going to be like an oyster and stick my head into the ground. So process, being an Estonian, walking my process, it is tempting, but I realize that I that it's an acceptance and allowance that I give in to that emotion, feel like I can just isolate myself, nobody needs to see me all the time or right now anyways because I'm going through a point or whatever and I don't feel I don't feel like smell too good right now or whatever excuses so this is a, 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 a challenge for you yes you to open up and share whatever goes on in your process whatever goes on in your life where you're at in your life journey, whatever you call that thing you're in, behind that screen of yours. And to, and to ask of you, where are you going with your life? What is going on with you? Can you breathe and be honest with me and share with me and the world who you really are? What's going on within you? What is changing within you? What is happening in your life? Please Please, please, please share. I would love to hear it. And I know that there are millions and billions of others who would love to hear that. We are all 
in it for the better. We are all in it for a good life for all. Let's use the videos to something else than filming Rihanna or filming Justin Bieber or filming Trump for film. Let's film ourselves and let's talk about who we are, what goes on on the inside of ourselves in honesty and respect and, cons and consideration and regard. Let's film ourselves and talk about what our dreams are, what our fears are, what we look for if we search for what we see in polarity, what we see in the mind, the depth of the mind, what we find in words. Let's all open up and make some vlogs and let's share the shit out of it and, and, and expose our mind. Thank you.